Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. Now as a lot of you might know that yesterday was an Apple event and Apple recently launched iPhone 8 as, a, as well as iPhone X. Now we are not here to talk about how good the phone is, is it a value for price or not, whatever that is let's leave that aside. It's, you might be already seeing hundreds of videos on them. But I want to discuss because I have two questions with Apple. Now one question is about the event and one question is about the security issues that everybody is going to face with the iPhone X and all those other phones which are having this face detection unlock thingy thing. Uh, let's talk about it. Now my very first question is to Apple event. Now Apple event usually are great and this time they have used the Steve Jobs theater which was the last project on which Steve Jobs worked. Now, Steve Jobs has a lot of hype around him. Now, I'm not saying he deserves that or he doesn't deserve that. Let's keep that aside. Let's not make that as a point of debate. Now, what's interesting was in the event that I saw Steve Wozniak hanging around there. Now, I really personally think that Steve Wozniak deserved at least five minutes or let's just say at least two minutes on the stage saying about how he sees that Apple is progressing or about the new updates that are coming onto the company or maybe how the campus is looking like. Whatever there was in his mind, people really wanted to see Steve Wozniak on the stage and at least what he has done for the company, I think everybody knows that he deserves those two minutes or five minutes on the stage. Now, I will not say that Steve Wozniak didn't want it to appear on the stage. Maybe or maybe not, but I am pretty sure that he was having thoughts in mind that he really wanted to share with people. Because you can see a lot of Twitter feeds coming up and saying that, hey, uh, Wozniak is praising the campus. He's saying that beauty has no parameters, no variables, no numbers. It's just amazing, beautiful. So these things, instead of just seeing them on a Twitter feed, I would really love to see them on the stage directly from Steve Wozniak on the event. Now let me know in the comment section what do you think about this. I think this great man who has contributed so much in the Apple deserves at least two or three minutes on the stage. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about it. Now my second question and concern is about the iPhone X and regardless of iPhone X other Samsung phone as well who are using the feature of face detection and unlock. Now let me give you a very simple example. Now, we all have one such friend in the group who just leaves his phone unlocked for maybe two minutes or even a minute and the next thing that he sees on his Facebook wall and Twitter feed is he's getting committed to a random girl. Yes, I'm talking about when you utilize your phone or your friend's phone to update some random and nonsense status, uh, just you found unlocked phone there. Now, my concern with the security is what will happen to those uh, students who are roommates and you know, when your friend is a sleeping beauty and you just have to take his phone and just put it in front of the face and that's it. Enjoy his phone unlocked with all the feature. And Apple is saying you can even use it for Apple Pay. So I can see, I can just imagine what is about to happen with this feature. Whoever the phones are who are using these features, I'm just waiting to listen all those amazing stories that are about to come on the internet about the misuse of this face unlock feature. Continuing with the same concern about the phone security. Now you might have read a couple of articles regarding the person who was working at NASA and was holed at the airport by airport authorities and was searched thoroughly and even the airport authorities asked him to share the password of his phone. Now he said that the phone is his private property, he's having some personal uh, information, pictures and also some NASA pictures there. So uh, regardless whatever the case was and was it right or wrong, whatever that was, um, I'm pretty sure that the next time these things will not appear that much of the big issues because now all the airport authorities have to do is pick up their phone and say in your face security and that's it, you are done with that. Now although these numbers look really amazing like one in a million chance to open up your phone and just like that. But we know all about the truth that it's not about one in a million chance or something. It's about how these things are going to be misused. 
And I'm really looking forward for the next year uh, Black Hat conference and the Nullcon conference where people are going to show up and are going to say how they bypass these face detection and all those biometric things. I'm really looking forward for that. So these are my two quick questions to Apple. The first one is why was Steve Wozniak not on the stage and second one is about the security concern about the face detection and things like that. Now I'm not saying the face detection is a bad thing. Yes, we are moving into a forward direction and definitely things are going to improve in future. But for right now, these are just my concerns. Let me know in the comment section below that what you really think about these couple of issues and I'm really looking forward for a healthy discussion in the comment section. Let's hang out and think what more productive we can find out in the comment section. With this, in case you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do hit the subscribe button, join me on my Facebook page, I'm quite active there and I'll definitely catch you up in the next video.